Wheat pasting, graffiti, stickers is illegal, first and foremost. Street art is vandalism. We like to criminalize things that make us uncomfortable. My art is simple. My art is for everyone. It's sarcastic, comforting, whimsical. It's silly, it's funny. It could be about deep things or could be about surface things. My name is Penny Pinch, and I'm a street artist from Chicago. I use entirely free, found, traded materials. The name Penny Pinch came from the idea that I've never spent any money on art supplies and that capitalism is rough. The reason I keep my identity private is because this isn't who I am. This is just one of the things that I do, and it's not even my job, it's just a hobby. It's been helpful for me just to keep those things separate. I get art supplies from the dumpster, from Craigslist, free cycle, from friends. And what's crazy is once you let it be known that you're looking for free materials, everybody's got paint in their basement. People throw away so much stuff. We have a huge problem with waste. Nobody really wants to recycle. And so it's, it's been really easy for me to find free materials. People have asked me, hey, can you make me a, a yellow painting and I have to be like no because I don't have yellow paint or I want something that's 24 by 24 it's like no because I can't find that exact size a guy in like a buffalo costume that's kind of my signature character usually he has like a speech bubble or a sign that he's holding and saying something kind of snarky and sarcastic Usually something that if you just read it, it's funny, but if you want to think about it, it could be talking about something deeper. I started doing wheat pasting because you could do a lot of the work beforehand and then actually putting it up on the street is really quick and really easy. It only takes a few seconds. When I'm putting up a poster on an abandoned building or on a piece of wood, it's not causing any damage and it's not hurting anyone. It's just a way for me to interact with my city. The very first conversation I had with Penny Pinch was about making his work accessible to the masses. At the very beginning, he was resistant to even sell his work. He was accustomed to bartering and trading and gifting it to people who reacted to it in a positive light. His price points are extremely, uh, extremely accessible. For a lot of artists, their intention is to make art their job, which is great. If they can make enough money to sustain themselves through art, please do that, that's wonderful. That's not ever what I wanted to do. I have a job that I love and art is my hobby. I have made money through art, but I'm in the position where I'm able to sell art for an affordable price. That's been something that's really important to me. I don't have a specific end goal in mind when I put art out on the street. Once you put it out in the street, it doesn't belong to you anymore, it belongs to the people and the city and the street and then whatever happens to it happens to it or however it gets interpreted is how it gets interpreted and that's a really interesting aspect of street art is that once it's out there it's not about the artist anymore. Our city keeps taking funding away from art programs especially in CPS. Art is important for young people because it teaches you how to interact with your world in a healthy way and interact with the things you're feeling and the things that are going on in your life. People are meant to create. That's what we were made to do. It teaches young people the skills to cope with things that are going on. How do we get young people to experience art? And one of the ways is to take that to the street with preferably legal pieces. If people have walls, they should have art on them. But you know, if, if a building is abandoned and, and burned out and has wood over the windows, I'm gonna put a post it. Wow, really fascinating. And here to walk us through all the ins and outs of street art is the expert himself, author and poet, Kevin Koval. <laughs> Koval, welcome, Kevin. We have a running joke. I can say Koval. He yeah. says Kevin Koval, she says Kevin Koval. You say. Which is how black folks pronounce it, so you're good. <laughs> I 
I am staying yeah. true to tradition. Yeah, my it. peeps. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Exactly. Hey, so fascinating piece and an interesting artwork. Uh, what is this wheat pasting? Can you walk us through like that process? Yeah. First of all, I want to say it's great to be back. I also want to commend you on having the livest and flyest audience ever. So. Uh, Yeah, wheat paste is a very old technique. I mean, it's just wheat flour and a, some sort of vegetable starch mixed with water, and it acts as a ready-made glue. Huh. And, and what people do is they'll take uh, posters that they're able to replicate very quickly, uh, and they'll paint, they'll wheat paste them, glue them onto abandoned buildings, storefronts, what have you, to get their art and their message out. And that's the technique that Penny Pinch and other artists throughout the city and throughout the country utilize. Right, now Penny Pinch wanted to hide his identity. Is that common? Well, yeah. I mean, he doesn't want to get arrested. You yeah. Know? yeah. Um, and he wants to continue to make the art uh, that he, he makes. Um, he has a day job and also doesn't want that to affect his income. Um, but also when he's out on the street, I mean, sometimes he'll go at night, but sometimes he'll go midday. He you will? Know? And yeah, and kind of just in some sort of regular dress and just throw up a, a poster. Right. Now, we talked about some of this as perfectly legal and they're hired to do murals and things like mm -hmm. that. Why doesn't he do just the legal version and why, does, why do artists want to break the laws? Well, I think that he has a, a kind of really specific message he's trying to put out there. One, that art is accessible, it's for everybody, and everyone in every community should have access to the art. So that's why he, you'll see his work around the city. Um, he's all city. And I think that he, he the, even the, the kind of character that he makes is a kind of every person, an every man, if you will. And so he wants that to be replicated in mass. And mm -hmm. it's, not a, that's, it's not a new practice. Uh, Toulouse-Lautrec, who now hangs at the Art Institute, used to have of his uh, illustrations of Parisian nightclubs wheat pasted in the Paris streets to advertise a certain night. And so, you know, Penny Pinch just, I think, has a different message. He's not asking you to come to a bordello or to, to some yeah. sort of cafe. He's asking, you know, he has like a lot of little quips about you know, recognizing your own humanity, making you smile, so a lot of it's funny. Yeah. And just, and you're walking down the street and it just kind of brightens your day. You know, and I think that there's a, a necessity in the, you know, getting us off our phones and right. just kind of interacting in the street in a different kind of capacity. Making right. people look up. Yes, yeah. What exactly. a concept, right? Yeah. Kevin, Kevin Koval, thank, you so, thank you so much. Kevin Koval, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure. Was that your black voice too? <laughs>